hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you the preset that i have made for the geometry nodes which covers all the fall off of the animation nodes including the fall off tracer node and you have also the 3d viewer node and vector to curves node and in future i'll also add a many group nodes to this preset if you want to download on this preset the link is in the video description and you can also download on this preset from my patreon page in this video I'll explain each of the fall off and how do they work in the geometry nodes including uh, the fall off tracer node. So let's get start. Okay first I'll explain the 3d viewer node which is important. So let's plug this here. So by default it shows the uh, vertices means points P is equal to point which is 0 then E for the edge F for the face and C for the corner. So if I change this to 1, we have edge center, then we have this face and last 3 we have this corner. And you can also view the normals of these, um, of these points. And if I plug this curve into this, we are viewing the point as well as the normal of this curve and we can also view the tangent of this curve so this is a uh, pretty handy especially to visualize the different data of the geometry nodes in the 3d viewport so let's back to the uh, fall off so first is the spline fall off and one thing i like to mention here is that i keep the settings minimal and also close uh, to the animation nodes that is easy to switch from animation nodes to the geometry nodes so let's connect this curve here so here is the curve so let me not this one okay so plug this to z axis so we are offsetting the points of this grid based on this spline follow which is spline edge follow use the edges of the spline to calculate this follow and in this you have another two settings which is use radius for the size and use radius for the width if you enable this it going to use the radius of the spline uh, for the size and also for the uh, width if these settings are disabled these are the basically normal values of the size however if you enable this then this value going to act as offset uh, for the size okay so this is really handy if you want to offset the width which is based on the radius of the curve so similarly you have this spline point follow which has same settings but use the points of the spline to calculate uh, the fall off and then you have this radial fall off so for this you have this center axis uh, fall off width and angle so center is from where it is calculating on this radial fall off you can shift this and then axis by default it's z axis then you have fall off width and you also have this angle and the next one is the random so it gives the random value for each uh, points or the vertices of this mesh by default it use the index and if you want to use the custom index you can use with this setting means you want uh, this follow based on the edges or the face you can use you can do that uh, with this custom id and the next one is the object a sphere follow and let me disable this curve and enable this empty so let's select this empty here so it gives uh, the uh, follow based on the location and the size of the object okay like this you can change the width and the size of on uh, this follow and the next one is the object uh, directional follow 
it is based on the direction of uh, this empty so let's uh, select this empty here so based on the local uh, direction of this empty okay you can invert the direction you can also select the different axis uh, for on the direction follow and the next one is the for the noise so we have a uh, different uh, textures so that we can use uh, for the follow just plug this into this and this into the z axis here you can reset on the scale by default it going to reset the noise values around zero means average around zero and then you can uh, set uh, the amplitude this noise to minus one to plus one if you want and you can also change the scale of a scale of this noise means we can easily combine this if we use on this object sphere follow if we select this empty here and plug this into scale so we have this means if we can slightly increase the scale see similarly for the noise color so next is the mesh point follow off it's going to use uh, the mesh points to calculate the follow so let's add the, this cube as mesh and then plug this into the z axis now we have this follow based on the mesh points similarly that we have also the this mesh edges as well so let's plug this and this into this you have based on the edges of this mesh and we also have for the face as well so if i plug this let me change this this into this so for this you have a, another new setting which is fill inside means if you want to assign a one fall off inside this mesh uh, you can do that with this uh, setting so next one is the index random and index nth mask index random mask if we plug this into this so let me also change the input mesh to line so that we can easily see that what is what it is doing it's going to give a random follow based on the index you can also use the custom index for this as well then you have this probability option to control the values for the 0 and 1 and the another one is the index nth mask so now let me enable this 3d viewer node it's going to assign one value to every uh, step index so if i set it to means if i type here 5 so then we have by default to 0 and 1 2 3 4 and then we have for the fifth index then similarly for all the other multiple of 5 okay and you can also offset this index as well and you can change you can also use this custom index uh, for this group node and the last two is the fade and the delay follow so this uh, uh, preset this fade follow give the follow between the start and end index something like this you have transition from the eighth index to 26th index from 0 to 1 okay you can also use uh, this custom index for this as well and the last one is on uh, this and delay follow -off. so let me plug this mesh into this and then this into this it will uh, give you the follow -off. 
with some delay based on this uh, time you want to get the follow for different splines then you can enable this spline index then you can also use the custom index for this uh, group node as well by default it's using only the index of this point which is this okay and you can also use uh, the custom time uh, for this uh, group node then you have this uh, start frame option so then the settings you have start frame delay duration and this minima and maximum value so you can define the delay in number of frames by default is one frame means if i go to 20 uh, 20th frame we can see that the first index words is complete it is a duration in 20 frames and the next one will complete in 21 frames because we have one frame delay if you type here 5 then it going to complete at 25th frame okay so this is the follow of tracer node so it going to give you the uh, output the curl or gradient in 2d 3d and also on mesh the geometry should be a curve not a mesh and if, because we don't have loop in geometry nodes so that's why we have to stack them in a series this is the first node and here you will define the input geometry then step uh, size of the integration then other setting like curl gradient uh, 2d 3d and on mesh and also the first uh, node should have this index value zero okay then you connect them in a series so in this group node i have stacked them uh, for 20 20 times to do 20 integration step and then plug them in series to do uh, 62 steps so that's why our input curve has 62 and for the input geometry you should uh, use the curve geometry here i am using a multiple uh, instance of this curve it is uh, just a simple uh, group node to just a curve line and then resample node together node in on mesh here you going to define the mesh onto which you want to calculate the curl or gradient okay so in this case i am going to use uh, icosphere and then you have this field node so here you're going to define your field for the curl in this case i am using this noise texture and also the field based on this empty so if i move this empty you will see it is changing now suppose if we want to uh, calculate the curl in 3d you just enable this 3d option and you can also calculate the gradient as well for 3d and 2d okay to calculate the color gradient on to a mesh first we have to scatter the points or the use the points of this mesh to instance uh, these input curves so let's use this so we have uh, these curves in 3d so now if we enable this on mesh then it will calculate the curl on this mesh so one thing you should keep in mind that this option on mesh only going to work in the 3d not in the 2d okay so here you can change this to a gradient as well nice thing about this uh, follow tracer node is that because geometry nodes works uh, means the underlying principle is as field based so you can easily define a different kind of field based on the mesh or the object or the mesh surface then you can calculate this curl okay with this file of tracer node you can download all these preset from my patreon page the download link is in the video description and if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates so until next time happy noding bye